Hello everyone, as you know, I am Paul, your eHobby guy, and in today's video we are going to be looking at this micro SD card adapter. What we're going to do today is connect this card to the Arduino so that the Arduino can write to the micro SD card data that it is reading. Here you can see I have a micro SD card. The information that it's going to read is voltage. We're just going to take a regular analog pin, write the voltage that it's reading from that pin, and write it onto the SD card. Essentially turning this Arduino Uno into a data logger. So let's jump right in. There are six pins here that we're dealing with. Starting from the bottom, we're looking at the ground pin. Next up is the VCC pin, which is going to be 5 volts. We're going to take that right off the Arduino. Next is the MISO, which stands for Serial Data In. Next pin is the MOSI, which stands for Serial Data Out. Next pin up is the Serial Clock, SCK. And the final pin on top right here is the CS, which is Chip Select Pin. I already attached some female male DuPont cables. So now let's go ahead and wire this module into the Arduino Uno. First, I'm going to take the ground pin, ground pin which is right next to 13. Next pin up is VCC, which is 5 volts. We'll take that right off to 5 volts right here. Next up is the MISO pin, and that's going to go into pin 12. Next up from that is MOSI goes into pin 11. The serial clock goes into pin 13. And finally, the chip select pin goes into pin number 10. Now it is fully hooked up and ready to write data into the SD card. First, we're going to connect the potentiometer so that we can vary a voltage in such a way that it can be read and will be visible for us to see on a breadboard right next to this. Here I have a 10k potentiometer. I put a little knob on it to make it a little easier. And so we can just enter that into our breadboard anywhere to get us started. Now I'm going to take this 5 volts that I have coming out of the Arduino Uno and I'm going to put it on a rail over here. And then I'm going to enter and bring the 5 volts over there. This way I can split it out and bring a 5 volts into that potentiometer for me to vary such that we can read it. I'm also going to take the ground from the board. We have a ground hooked up for the SD card here, but I'll take another ground on this side of the board. This is going to be used again for as a voltage reference. I can put this to one side of the potentiometer. The other side of the potentiometer we're going to put to 5 volts, which I had just brought over to here. The midpoint of the potentiometer, I'm going to bring to analog input 0. It's the first one, so A0, I'm going to put that as an analog input. What we have here is 5 volts across the potentiometer. We're bringing the voltage from the middle of the potentiometer, and we can vary that by rotating the knob here, and we'll go over to the program and see how this is done. So what the Arduino is going to do is read the analog input and write that analog voltage onto the SD card and then just continuously do that. So let's take a look at the program. So to get the starter program for this data logger, I just came right to uh, arduino.cc. I'll leave a link for this in the description, but right here is the exact uh, layout the code so I copied and pasted this code to be a beginner for me into my project so we could get this project underway so here's the program a sketch I should say and I basically just pasted it in I used chip select pin number 10 so I have to change that from the default right down here we begin serial communication I'll go over it quickly because we do have more to add here we begin our loop and we define our data string which is what it's going to get written into the SD card here I declare the sensor value as it reads it from analog pin 0 and I create a floating sensor value because this sensor reading is actually um, an integer and we have to multiply by 5 and divide by 1023 as a standard conversion because as we know analog values are read between 0 and 1023 and we're reading between 0 and 5 volts so this is the conversion. And so this floating sensor value, which will give me decimal places, takes this integer and multiplies it by 5 and divides by 1023. And then this function data string converts 
that number into a string because the SD card only accepts strings. With that in mind, I do want to see the progress that we're making, so I'm saying serial print line in the serial window just to see as we make progress and how it's writing and as I vary the voltage. And now we open the data file that's on the SD card. And I created a datalog.txt file so we could write to it. Here is a very simple if statement which is saying if the file exists, print the data string to the file and then close. You do not save the information until you get to the close statement down here. And then I just put a 100 millisecond delay to give it time to write. I print to the serial monitor again. Then we loop back up and do the same thing again every 100 milliseconds or 10 times a second. So let's just click upload here and upload this sketch. It's compiling. You can see the progress over here. Still uploading. Done uploading. Now let's pop open the serial monitor. There we go. Let me vary the voltage here and let's see if we can get some values recorded. There we go. We're almost up. Yep, we're right up to 5 volts. Let me bring it down nice and slowly. Nice and slowly all the way down to zero. I'm going to bring it back up and then we'll stop it. The reason I stopped it is because I'd like to just pop this card right out of it and dump the information into Excel and see what we can find. Okay, I just popped the micro SD card into my PC. Here is the datalog.txt file and here's the data that's written. So I'm just going to select everything, copy it, and jump over to Excel here and I'll just call this voltage and paste all the data in there. So if I highlight this and we'll just say insert chart and we get a, a chart of how I varied the voltage with the knob in my hand and it's that easy. So it can record a tremendous amount of data very accurately as you can see. So I started somewhere just less than 2 volts, went all the way up to 5, up and down, just to demonstrate the versatility, and it was displaying also in the serial monitor. Just to take this one step further, here I have an ACS712, I labeled my packet here, it can read up to 5 amps, so this is a current sensor. What we're going to do is we're going to put a load on this. I have to say at this point that I did intend on playing around with this ACS712 current sensing module. However, this module is known to have volatility problems or be susceptible to noise. So I did discover that there was a resolution of about 30 to 60 milliamps, which is unacceptable for the direction that I'm going with this project. This project is moving in a direction where we're going to measure the discharge of batteries. So a resolution of 30 milliamps is just unacceptable for this. So I didn't include it in this video. This video is really about getting data written onto the SD card, reading voltage, and processing the information with the Arduino Uno. I do have this other uh, GY-MAX471 current and voltage sensing module. Let's take a quick look. What I've read about this is the resolution is a lot better and so I think I'll play around with this in the near future. This module uses the I2C communication protocol which I really like. With that said, once again, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. I really do appreciate your support. Click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more stuff coming up, exciting stuff. Follow me on social media. See you next time.